without a doubt, the bed bug is the most challenging pest to the professional pest management industry. And it's kind of appropriate. More than 40 years ago, I used to control bed bugs. And here we are, it's our number one pest again. Let's go back in history, even before I was a service technician. We used to use cyanide eggs. And what we're talking about is putting pots out in all the rooms and then taking this egg, throwing it into the pot so it broke, and running out as fast as you could go. Go down the next floor, the next, leave the main floor, do the basement, then come back up and do that main floor. It's said that a heavy, slow technician didn't make it. From that, we moved to DDT, which was a remarkable product. Our industry was the first to get that product in such a way that we were able to sell it to the public and use it ourselves. People lined up to get it from us. It was phenomenal. A single treatment, bed bugs gone. Something has changed, and now they're back. We still have so much to learn about this pest. In fact, there is several things that you can do to help yourself and the industry. Dr. Brian Cabrera at the University of Florida is requesting live as well as dead bed bugs. You might say, what is he going to do with them? He's actually sending them to Dr. Alan Shulansky at the University of Arkansas, who's studying the blood in the bed bug to see what animals the bed bug feed on. Because it turns out they feed on more than just humans. And in a, another chapter, you'll learn why this is so important to you. Now, Dr. Barry Pittendry is at the University of Purdue, Purdue University, and here is his email. He needs dead bed bugs. He's a molecular biologist. And what he's doing is studying them to determine from what country they came from and a little bit about the biology or behavior of it. The third person who can help you is Dr. Robin Todd. He has an independent research lab. He's studying the different pests and pesticides. And he's concentrating now on bed bugs, where he's going through the claims that different companies have, whether they work or not. One of the most interesting things that came out of this study was, which Copasan, a pest control group, financed, the hypoallergenic mattresses work excellent on the box springs and the mattress that the bed bug, both the adult and the nymphs, cannot chew through and, and bite you. And so we're highly recommending that, and that research has been verified by Dr. Robin Todd. In the next chapter, we're going to study the biology of this pest in terms of it being practical to you to figure out how to control it.